Outside of the Senator Theater, John Waters is recognized for his work as an actor, filmmaker, writer, and artist. Now he will be recognized in Hollywood on its Walk of Fame. Well, that's good. He, I guess he deserves it. He used to hang out in the neighborhood here in the bars and all. It's super exciting, especially because he's local. I've seen him over at Atomic Books before, um, and he just, you know, he's definitely a hometown hero, so it's super exciting to to have him celebrated. Waters grew up in Lutherville and attended Calvert Hall College High School and graduated from Boys Latin. He rose to fame in the early 1970s for his cult films. He wrote and directed the comedy film Hairspray, which became an international success and adapted it into a hit Broadway musical. He always stayed true to his roots, establishing his first production company, Dreamland Studios, in his own bedroom. Since then, all of his films have been shot on location in Baltimore. It makes us very proud as our hometown hero, um, the great John Waters, finally getting some recognition in Hollywood. Mike Lentz is the general manager of the Charles Theater. He's excited they will be celebrating Waters' movies this summer. They are um, unashamedly Baltimore movies. They love the fact that they're from Baltimore. They take, I mean, John takes great pride in displaying his friends and his hometown and just the places that he grew up and the places he frequents. Um, and also the characters in the movies are characters you would find in Baltimore. In July, the Charles Theater will celebrate the 50th anniversary of John Waters' movie, Pink Flamingos. We'll be playing it three times in July. Uh, we'll be playing it July 9th at 11.30 in the morning on Saturday, and then July uh, 11th uh, at 7 p.m., that's a Monday, and then also July 14th at 9 p.m. The Charles will also run five other Waters films in July, including Hairspray. Waters Star will be installed sometime next year. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.